Assalamu alaikum welcome to Khamar Munboy channel and this is a new video for you do like my video so that I can create more for you by clicking on this like button and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel till now and also press on the bell icon if you are not getting this notification uh, for my channel you will get a notification every time I upload a new video thank you so here you have a grid system the grid system here it is a G1 grid system using this G1 grid system is nothing but from the global grid system only which is having the 0 comma 0 comma 0 as the coordinate system of XYZ axis so let us go for this grid system and let us create a building multi-story building with number of spans and in the x and y direction and let us give this grid system so after creating a new grid system only you can modify it delete it or copy from the existing or you can use the drawing file for adding the grid system so that is also possible add a new grid system from a dxf file so you you can create a AutoCAD file and you can add from here by clicking on this uh, grid system add a grid system using this you can do it so it will be uh, easy for you if you have a plan uh, you can directly take that plan grids directly into this grid system using this so let us add a new grid system I have a plan in my mind so directly from there I am going to show you if you have any of your plans you can mail me so that I can add and show you uh, as per your plan so that you could understand better in the in this kind of exclusive videos so particularly I can create uh, for every one of you you can create a separate separate video exclusively for you here in this uh, add new grid system you have a quickly add grid system so first uh, add the Cartesian and cylindrical there are two types of grid system cylindrical for radial beams and uh, for radial beams plan you can add this cylindrical and you can add a Cartesian by this it is a rectangular Cartesian system so this is G2 directly okay it is taking the G2 building uh, so like that let us let me first explain the grid system you can name the grid system here for this building you can name it as for model one uh, first model you can name it as m1 this grid system you can give it as name as m1 and you can go for uh, this global x 0 comma 0 global y um, global x is start from 0 global y starts from 0 and uh, the rotation okay z axis is uh, nothing but not rotated that is zero degree z axis okay and uh, x grids are a b c d and uh, y grids are one two three four and you can give the number of grid lines let us say 10 grid lines and uh, in the y direction let us say 15 grid lines okay then we have the spacing of the grid lines let us say the spacing of the grid lines is uh, uh, 4 meter in the x direction and uh, in the y direction mostly let us say 3 meters in the y direction so these are the different kind of uh, uh, grid lines that we can add so it will create a m1 grid line uh, grid system with uh, these data what we have entered so click on this uh, ok button and the m1 grid lines m1 grid has been created 
so you can uh, go to this m1 grid and uh, you can delete this g1 grid system now delete grid system g1 yes so m1 grid has been created now this m1 grid will be shown in this 3d view and this uh, plan view if you click on this refresh view option so can you see this uh, it is created here you can see a b c d e f g h uh, and uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, in the y direction uh, so x and y direction here and here the 3d model of it has been created now you can go to modify and uh, you can modify each and every grid spacing accordingly from this data so you can see here it is in the plan and i will be modifying it go to the modify option and here also a small plan is given of this grids and here you can see again you can change this uh, origin that is rotation of z degree and x, that is x and y here you have default there is all stories story ranges from this is the top story the bottom story is this one which one is the bottom story you can give it okay here you have the reference points and uh, click uh, to modify you can make the reference points and the reference planes also that is uh, in the z ordinates that is a re reference planes uh, for creating the lift walls and the span rolls okay that will be used for reference planes and that these two options uh, uh, are used for any creating any reference points in between the slab and any reference plane uh, in the vertical direction the bubble size is nothing but this bubble size of the story that you can increase or decrease that is in mm or uh, you can give one five double zero you can increase So this bubble size has been increased and uh, or you can decrease the bubble size has been decreased you can see so you can go to grid color and you can change this grid color from uh, gray to any other color like blue color. Or you can select directly from here so these are the blue color our blue color uh, while drawing beam you will find blue color beam so uh, you select any other color like orange color now you have the grid spacing that is display grid spacing from the ordinates that is from the ordinate is nothing but from the zero to that ordinate so it will start from zero the a grid is start from zero and the x grids like these uh, one after other is spaced in four four meters that is four eight the table of four will be so if you want to change between B and C, this is spacing. So you can go for display grid as data as spacing. You can click on this, and uh, then you can go for uh, this option. Uh, is it recording properly? Yeah. Then you can go for this option like. You can see a 4 spacing means a to b it is 4 so at the last you will be having 0 if you go for data spacing and grid data spacing if you go from the ordinates you will be having first as a 0 
the grid line itself on zero. So this is spacing as for spacing you are going means this is spacing is nothing but from A to B this is the spacing from B to C this is the spacing. So since J is the last grid from J to K there is no K line so J to K will be 0 I to J will be 4. So that is nothing but I to J will be this I to J this spacing will be mentioned here you can see this one. Okay, so let us go for the X spacing. Now A to B, let us say we have three meters. Then B to C, uh, A to B is three meter. B to uh, C, let us say, as far as I am changing here, this spacing diagram will be changed. You uh, look it uh, carefully. Here we have. Uh, B to C let, is, let it be 4 only, C to D let it be 4.5, uh, uh, then we have D to, uh, that is D to E, that is E to F, that is E to F let us say 4.2 and then we have 2.5, that is lift area and 2.5, staircase and lift area, that is 3, I am taking 2.5, okay then we are having 4 and 0 okay so these are the different store lines we have taken now here in the y direction we have 3 meters 3 meters 3 meters 1 2 3 4 this is, these are the 1 2 3 4 lines and 3 meters 3 meters we are having in center i will be giving some 2.5 options so that uh, I can create a lift area here. Or two here. Okay. Two, two, two point five, two point five. Okay. So, so you can see how we can change uh, the spacing of the grids and the position of this 1, 2, 3, 4 you can keep in, uh, both start and end it will be showing. For big plan you can uh, use on the both side. So it will be shown on the both side of the plan. If you don't want to show uh, any bubble, you can keep it as none. So after this quick changes in the bubble spacings, we can go for click on OK. We can also create some general grids like from x1 uh, x1 y1 and x2 y2 you can give the coordinates and you can uh, create uh, any slant grids also using this coordinate system click on ok click on the refresh view we'll be getting the new grid system here okay then you can click on uh, ok so that you can see what is the grid system?
so this is how we have created the grid system now you can see here you can go for elevation view and select any one of the elevation and you can see how the floors are created so in this before going to the define option it is very important to save your project so go to the file and go to the save option or you have the direct here save option or you have a new file open and that you can create a new project here also directly do one do option all these options are there you can one after one you will understand what are the uses of it so you go for the save option and then uh, select a place where you want to save so this is a very important option before defining any object after creating a grid you should save your project